Welcome back to the channel, Upcyclers. We are doing a PSA graded reveal. Um, we've got 22 cards. We're going to go through them at a, a hopefully a pretty decent clip. Uh, when I edit this, I'm going to throw the uh, estimated price uh, somewhere up here in the corner. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go from there. Uh, as always, love to hear your thoughts below. Um, if you enjoy this kind of content, we try to put out a new video every Friday morning at uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time. So please do subscribe, like, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Um, anyway, so let's get to it. First card is a 2023 Bowman Mega Box Rookie of the Year favorite, Adley Blue Refractor, numbered to 150, and that got a 10. So very happy about that. That's a great start. Get the 10 pile going, and let's keep it rolling. Next, we have, we're going to do it this way. We have the Gold Sparkle Image Variation of Adley from Topps Chrome 2023. This is a cool looking card. I really like, I, I'm not as big a fan of the Gold Wave, you know, as they've been adding parallels, but the Gold Sparkle is nice. They look really, really nice in person. You know, it pops when you take photos of it. They're just cool looking cards. Anyway, oh, well, there it is. It got a 10. So two for two, doing good. Okay. This was one I was kind of on the fence about sending in. It's a, it's a 2022 Stadium Club uh, Chrome Willie Mays Orange. So it's out of, I think it's 25. Sorry, 99. And, um, you know, the color match with the orange Giants fans, all that good stuff. I thought maybe if it hit a 10, it looked super clean. Uh, it'd be worth it. And in fact, it hit a nine. So that's, I'm guessing that's probably break even at best, maybe a little more than grading fees. Um, I did open up a, a jumbo of... Uh, 2019 Topps Chrome a while back and um, this was one of the autos that was in there look clean to me not as clean to them and that's okay if I have my choice between these two I'd rather get the 10s and the Adleys uh, now we've got a few mixed in here here's the next couple are and then there's a couple more mixed in here that um, they're, they're, they're older cards they're PC cards so I'm not really going to count them for or against us when we're kind of looking to see how we did uh, gem rate wise at the end of this thing. In fact, I have two of these. We're going to look at them both at the same time. Um, I am a big fan of the uh, Donruss Elite series. Um, I may have mentioned it in a previous video. Here, let's show the grades. An eight and a seven. But uh, one of my strongest memories of uh, opening baseball cards as a kid, and yes, I'm going to date myself, was uh, in the old 1991 Donruss set. Um, uh, pulling the first year they had Donruss Elite, I actually pulled a uh, an Andre Dawson. And um, yeah, everybody at the shop was all stoked for me. I was what, thir 12, 13 at the time. And um, yeah, so I've been kind of going back and picking up some Donruss Elites. I did go get a copy of that Andre Dawson. I have it in a box over here behind me. But um I'm a big Gwyn guy, so I am working on getting the whole run of Donner's Elite Gwyn's. I got a good deal on these two, so I sent them in. Seven and eight. So the PC stuff, I'm just going to set off here to the side. Okay. Here's a... This is the Rose Gold Refractor of 2022 Topps Finest. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Rookie. Really pretty color. Um, and, uh, unfortunately only got a nine. You know, generally speaking, for those that haven't done a lot of grading with this ultra modern stuff, you know, anything in the last three to five years, I'd say, you know, you're pretty much for the most part breaking even, you know, not really changing the value of the price at all on a nine on lower end cards. Sometimes you can even lose money on a nine, um, you know, but cards like this, it's probably the same maybe even a little more in a nine than it might be raw 
but eights and down, you've probably lost money and you're almost better cracking it out and regrading it or cracking it out and selling it raw or whatever. But, you know, tens usually add a decent bit of uh, a value to the card. So, you know, it's worth it. This is a cool card. This is the 2022 Tops Update. The MVP caliber. Is this the checklist? No. Oh, the veteran combos. Yeah. Uh, I guess you call it an insert card. Uh, it's a red foil out of 199. Obviously, it's Otani and Trout. Would have been great to get it in a 10, but only got a 9, unfortunately. But a very cool card. And, uh, yeah. I guess no more after the uh, Dodgers signing. I guess no more uh, A's Otani cards. Speaking of gold wave refractors, um, I actually pulled this in that same box as I uh, showed the Framber a bit ago. This is the Gold Wave uh, Eloy Rookie from 2019, and it did, in fact, get a 10. So that is awesomeness. Okay. Now, this may look like the regular paper base card of 2016 Bowman uh, Tatis, but in fact, this is actually the silver parallel, non-numbered, that uh, only came in the paper it's actually fairly rare, and it would have been really nice to get it in a 10, because I do have the other um, paper, um, non-numbered parallel, the yellow, uh, in a 10, but unfortunately only a 9. Generate's not looking great right now, but hopefully we pick it up. Now, here is the great mystery of the order. Uh, I am definitely going to crack this one out and have a closer look at it because I am darn curious about what the issue is. Um, now, if you're seeing something right here, that's actually, I think, part of the bubble pattern. And I'm guessing maybe the person thought that was damage to the card or maybe I'm wrong and it is damage to the card and it's not a bubble pattern. I really don't know. But this is the Adley... Um, Tops Pristine Gold Refractor, uh, numbered out of 50, and it got a 6. So that's going to be one to take a closer look at uh, lately. Or later, not lately. Okay. Here's our Vlad Jr. Uh, rookie card. Auto from 2019. I did not pull this one. I uh, bought this one and uh, sent it in. Um, and it, in fact, got a 10, which is great news. All right. Similar to that uh, blue Adley earlier, here's the, uh, the regular um, gold mega box, not the rookie of the year insert, just the regular card um, from the Mojo box. Gold out of 50, and that got a 10. Did really well, really well in the Adley. I think, well, with the... Well, apart from that uh, six on that one, the rest, I believe, were tens. Now, this is another one, um, interestingly, that I pulled from that same box as the Eloy. This is the image variation short print of Clayton Kershaw from uh, 2019 Topps Chrome. The Straddling the Fence. Um, it's a fairly short printed card. It's pretty low pop in a, in a ten. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. I am, uh, as I've mentioned before, my name's obviously the San Diego Upcycler. I've certainly mentioned more than once my affinity for the Padres here in town. And uh, I'm definitely not, I'd say the Dodgers are my least favorite team. So I'm not collecting or PCing any Do Dodger stuff. So this one will definitely be available for sale on the eBay store, probably already up on the eBay store by the time you're seeing this video. But that does get us above 50% on the jam. Well, no, right at 50% counting this guy. All right. Another one I pulled from that 2019 uh, jumbo box. It's a cool, nice color match out of 150 uh, Blue Wave Brandon Lau rookie. And that got a 10. All right. Here is another one of those PC cards I mentioned earlier. 
I do have uh, a fairly good size, and I'm always continuing to work on it, add to it, improve it, of my you know, 90s into early 2000s um, Griffey collections, mostly inserts and stuff like that. But this is just a really cool looking card. This is the Awesome Powers. Um, obviously a play on Austin Powers movies from back then. Um, really neat looking card with the colors. It really pops. Um, and it got a nine, which really is about as good as you can realistically expect, you know, on a card of this age. So I'm happy with that. Add that to the old PC pile. This was one that was kind of like the um, that Willie Mays, where it was saw a little bit of a stretch, but you know, rolled the dice, hoping for a ten. Figured it'd be, you know, pretty easy to sell with Nolan Ryan and uh, Otani on it, and it did in fact get a ten. It's a very nice card. This is a cool um, insert set from 2019. This was in that same box that I pulled. The uh, other cards I mentioned. All right, now the gem rate's looking pretty good. Um, I have also mentioned for many times what uh, great appreciation I have for Stadium Club. So Stadium Club is my favorite set, and the gold minted cards are my favorite card from my favorite set. So I do definitely collect these. I think this Nolan Ryan is one of the cooler images they've had in many years, and I'm very happy to now to now own it in a 10. So that's super cool. Also, I just learned that through his charitable foundation, if you go to his website, um, you can send in stuff to get autographed for, I think it's a card would be like 75 bucks. So I could actually get another one, which I think I'm actually wanting to do now. This card, I think I have another gold minted that I haven't graded yet around somewhere. Maybe I will send that in. Have him autograph that with maybe like, I don't know, a white or a silver pen or something would look really cool. And then get that graded. That would be a neat thing to have. Anyway, keeping with the gold minteds, this is uh, our MVP, Acuna. Not my favorite of his images, but, you know, it's Acuna. And I was really hoping for a 10 and I got a 9. Twenty twenty two Tops Chrome. Um... I'll be honest, I do not remember where I got this from. I think I might have picked it up at a trade night somewhere. Um, it's obviously the, uh, it's a Jazz Chisholm Auto. It's kind of hard to see because, um, you know, they didn't have that like white area on 2022 and where it says tops, you know, certified autograph. It's really hard to read, but that one did get a 10. I, It's kind of a color match, I guess with them but it's just a really neat looking card so some jazz fans gonna want that one and i i i think i've got next to nothing into it so okay this is a 2016 tops the mint machado franchise auto this is a thick boy so i really wasn't expecting that much but um you know i i wanted to get it slab get the label all that stuff you know, so I can keep it with my other Machado auto stuff for my PC. And there it is. There's an eight. Totally fine with that. Not surprised a bit. And the last one, and not least, is a 2004 Donruss Timeless Treasures. Uh, this is a really cool looking set, by the way. Um, and it comes in bronze, silver, and gold. And that bordering inside of the black, obviously, is what is the different color. And it's an on-card auto, um, like kind of like offset back into the card. It's just a really nice looking card. And uh, it's out of 50. So it's a pretty rare card. And um, again, this is a PC card. And as expected, it got an 8. So that's it. Uh, overall, we had what? That's roughly a what? 60% gem rate on the cards, I you know, the ultra modern stuff. This one will be uh interesting to do a little research on i'm guessing it's it's got to be that because i can't see anything else that it would be but i think that's actually part of the card so maybe i just need to get it regraded somewhere else i don't know let me know what you think i'm always happy to learn and as always thank you very much for your time hope you have a great day like subscribe all that good stuff 
Have a good weekend, and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.